saying before, you know, we did have some people who were um, reluctant to support a uh, large telescope here because sure. they said, oh, you're not going to do anything worthwhile and those alike. And I said, oh, you're only thinking in terms of pictures. And certainly the background lights from Fairfax City just north of us create an issue. Yeah. But with the proper equipment, and we did uh, procure a uh, photometer, we're actually able to demonstrate, and again, it was just uh, a few months ago, I guess last November, that we demonstrated that uh, we we're able to pick out a extrasolar planet eclipse. In that, that is just so cool. Because that that's amazing. a non trivial scientific feat. That's right. I mean, for any aperture, let alone an, an urban telescope, that's, that's a, a testament to the technique that you're able to apply to this and your students can, can make uh, those kinds of observations. And I'm working on a proposal with two others uh, that uh, hope to look at that light through specific uh, filters, you know, for a particular wavelength, sure. where they feel that we may be able to get a little better uh, information about that eclipsing oh, yeah. uh, planet that's going around its star. Mm -hmm. So um, it's really been uh, great to get something that's uh, that worthwhile. Plus, it gets. Yeah, as I said, this is 1,500 pounds just for the pedestal. Mm -hmm. The fork mount is 2,000 pounds, and the optical tube assembly is 1,000 pounds. Total, two and a quarter tons, or 4,500 pounds. Yeah. And they'd have to be dropped through the through opening this, yeah. of the dome uh, in three pieces, the pedestal, the fork mount, and then the OTA. Yeah. And um, it was really neat to actually have some pictures of that they would put together. Sometimes I think they would do a, a little book about how this is all done. Yeah. So a lot of uh, effort going into yeah, building this up. You know, I had them this uh, loose site cover instead. <laughs> Usually it's a uh, aluminum cover. Uh -huh. But I wanted it clear so we can actually point out, you know, that motor. <laughs> <laughs> that little thing yeah. is all it takes. To move a thousand pound that OTA. The whole machine. That's right. Yeah. Well, the OTA. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. We have a slightly larger one down at that end to move the whole fork mount, which is a combination of the OTA plus the fork mount. So this is just a thousand pounds, this is two thousand pounds. So down there, that's why it's a bigger circle. Sure. It's a mechanical advantage you know, uh -huh. that. And so with the larger wheel, you still have a small motor moving uh, basically three thousand pounds. And as finely as, as it really it is, yeah. it's a nice uh, mechanism. Uh, some people get a kick out of that. We're also part of a international network of observatories uh, that the International Dark Sky Association put together right. with help from the Vatican Observatory of all things. <laughs> and we are working with them to try to map the nighttime sky as far as its actual brightness yeah. and how that relates around the world, so we're just one out of, let's see, actually I can remember my serial number is number 32, so we're the 32nd observatory with this uh, night sky brightness meter, yeah. which I can show you where that is. We also have a weather station here, and you can see what the weather here is yeah. right in Fairfax as well. So we've really kind of uh, made it a multi-purpose uh, facility in a sense, again, centered around this yeah. large telescope. Well, plus, it gives our students, again, we have an undergraduate program in astronomy, right. a master's degree program in applied physics with a tract in astrophysics, and a PhD in physics with a yeah. uh, concentration in astrophysics as well. So we run the gamut from undergrad to uh, master's to PhD level students here, and uh, it really gives them a flavor for a professional telescope on top of a mountain, even though we're not. So well, this is, you know, I mean, I did my astronomy at Kitt Peak and McDonald Observatories, and, you know, now I was using apertures about this size for spectroscopy of bright stars, and so this is, this is perfectly apropos to the type of training that you want to get these yeah, guys exactly. as, as they get, get the experience yeah. with observational astronomy. Mm -hmm. Most people know most of it. Astronomy is done with data, as you were talking about, yeah. and we actually have a, a program that I believe is going to get started in just data science. Mm -hmm. We have a computational data science program uh -huh. as it is now, and they do more computational, but they're going to look into the big data program, which is starting up in the engineering program, uh -huh. engineering school of ours, just 
south of here. Yeah. So, uh, you know, I think it's uh, coming together pretty well. All in all. And we've run public observing sessions. Sure. I gave you that little book. Yeah. You can check yeah. the schedule. Mm -hmm. And uh, we've been holding about uh, 20 uh, sessions a, uh, for the t across two semesters. Mm -hmm. And we get on the average about 50 people, so you're looking at uh, 1,000 uh, a year of the past two years. Sweet. Just from the public, and we mm -hmm. have some special groups and the like. And we also, a while back, uh, to support a grant and a program that we do for uh, well, middle school teachers. I work with the Graduate School of Education. Mm -hmm. And so we procured a portable planetarium, mm -hmm. which we can set up in just one room. It is large enough for that. And I now have that planetarium, uh, the dome, inflatable dome projector over at uh, the uh, Winkler Botanical Preserve in Alexandria. Mm -hmm. And during the school year now, she runs programs and she's been getting uh, about 500 students through the planetarium. Uh -huh that we have, and then we bring it back here and uh, work with the teachers and show them how that can be used. So that way it's not just sitting in a room during the regular year, but also working with students uh, with the help of uh, the Winkler Technical Preserve. So.